the first relation is Q equals to what? M dot C, CPC, TCO minus TCI. M dot C, CPC is same as CC into TCO minus TCI. CC is equals to M dot C into CPC. Unit of this quantity is Watt per Kelvin. Q equals to M dot H, CPH, THI minus THO. M dot H into CPH is CH. So this is THI minus THO. CH and CC are called as capacity rate. Where M dot and CPC are called as mass flow rate and specific heat. We have either three conditions. One is CH equal to CC or CH greater than CC or CH less than CC. In the first case CH equal to CC equal to C minimum equal to C max. In this case CC equals to C minimum and CH equal to C max. For this case CC equal to C max or CH equals to C minimum. The capacity rate ratio is always defined as C minimum by C max equals to 1. In this case, and CR equal to what? And the effectiveness, effectiveness is defined as the actual heat transfer divided by maximum heat transfer. Actual heat transfer is given by CC into TCO. Or is also given by CH into THI minus THO. For maximum, we have to select C O U. So it is basically denominator. It should be equal to what C minimum multiplied by THI minus TCI, and this should be C minimum should be THI minus TCI. Now for parallel flow, the effectiveness is given by. 1 minus e to the power minus NTU into 1 plus CR and whole thing is divided by 1 plus CR. In case of counter flow, effectiveness is given by 1 minus e to the power minus NTU into 1 minus CR and is divided by 1 minus CR e to the power minus NTU into 1 minus CR and in case of counter flow if CH equal to CC equal to C minimum equal to C max or we can say CR equals to 1 that is the usual case for counter flow. So in that case effectiveness is given by NTU upon 1 plus NTU and in case of condenser we have CR equals to what 0. So effectiveness is given by 1 minus e to the power minus NTU. So this is the theory used. And secondly we also know the overall heat transfer quantity is given by what? Is given by DI is DO divided by DI HI plus 1 upon HO plus is it overall heat transfer is given as DO upon DI into HI plus 1 upon HO plus DO by 2 KL into LN of DO by DI. This is thermal conductivity of the pipe. If the thermal conductivity of pipe is not given, force this term equals to what? 0. If the tube is thin, then make DI equals to what? DO. If DI equals to DO, then what is 1 upon U0? So 1 upon U0 equals 1 upon HI plus 1 upon HO. What type of heat exchange it is? Counter flow. If the mass of hot fluid is given, CP of hot fluid is given, can we calculate CH? And mass of cold fluid is given, specific heat is given, U is given, 
A is given. We want to calculate THO, TCI and the rate of heat transfer equals to Q. So we have first CH. CH is given by M dot H multiplied by CPH. That value equals to 3 multiplied by 1. M dot H is 3, CPH is 1.05 multiplied by 1000 is 1050. So this value is 3150. Calculate is CC which is equals to uh, M dot C. M dot C is 3, CPC is 4200 that is in joules. So this value is 12600. If you compare value of CH and CC, what we get this value equals to what? C minimum, C max. Calculate the value of CR. The value of CR is always C minimum by C is 3150. Max is 12600. So value of CR equals to, is it 0.25? It is defined as A0 multiplied by u of u0 we know the value of a0 and we know the value of c minimum also so we'll put up a0 equals to 10 we can generate value of n to u which is 1.428 it is given by 1 minus e to the power n to u and cr n to u substitute as 1.428 and cr u as substitute as 0.25 and check that you are getting the effectiveness equals to 0.7189. First is that effectiveness equals to what? CC multiplied by TCO. You find here CC is 12600. How much? Is 3150. TCO. TCO is what? 85. What is TCI? We don't know TCI. What is THI? THI is 500 minus TCI. So we can solve this equation and we can obtain the value of TCI. 0.927. Now to find out the value of THO, we'll use the second equation that is effectiveness equals to CH multiplied by THI minus THO. So let's put up here. Effectiveness equals to 0.7189 is same as C minimum. So that is get cancelled. CH is same as C minimum. So that is get cancelled. What is THI? It is 500. We don't know. THI is 500 and TCI we have just calculated is minus of minus 5.927. So if you solve this, you will get value of THO equals to X. Finally, heat transfer you can calculate by any of the formula. One of the formula is CH into THI minus THO. Value of CH is 3150. THI is 500. THO we have just calculated is 136. Heat transfer is come out to be 1.14566 that is watts or is 1.1456 megawatts. Okay, let's go for second question. Counter flow heat exchanger. So in the case of counter flow, the direction of both the fluids will be opposite. It's at 30 degrees Celsius. So cold fluid enters at 30 degree Celsius whereas the hot fluid enters at 120 hot fluid enters at 120 we don't know the both temperatures we don't know THO and we don't know even TCO he has given the value of U0 400 watts per meter square Kelvin he also that equal to 20 meter square m dot cpc product for cold fluid that we called as cc and m dot cpc hot fluid that we called as ch 
is 15,000 ready with us. So your first job is to calculate what? NTU. C is equal to CH then can we say C minimum is same as C max and all these values are equal. So NTU will be equals to U0 is, is 400 multiplied by 20 divided by C minimum that equals to 15,000. TU should come to be 33. Three. Then we have an equation of effectiveness NTU upon 1 plus NTU is equals to 0.533 divided by 1 plus 0.533. So effectiveness equals to 0.34 effectiveness is CH into THI minus THO is CH is same as C minimum so that is cancel out and we have effectiveness equals to 0.3478 THI is 120 we don't know value of THO, THI is 120 and TCI is 30. So from this we can calculate value of THO is something 88.7 or coal fluid CC into TCO is cancelled with C minimum. So we have effectiveness equals to 0.3478, TCI is 30, THI is 120 minus 30. So from this we can get TCO equals to 61.2 and he also want to know the what is the heat transfer. So it's a very simple job now. So Q equal to either CH or either CC. CH is 15,000, is 120, estimated 88.7. This whole value come out to be 468 to the power 3, and the unit of this quantity is what? Watts. So it's 468. So we'll go for next question. Cooler oil enters at 160. So 160 is the temperature of oil. Water entering at 35, water is at 35, oil is at 160, does it mean that the oil is a hot fluid and the water is what, cold fluid and first case we have given parallel flow, what, 160, so this one is a hot fluid at 35, at 90, The temperature of oil and water if both the fluid will flow in opposite direction. Opposite direction means we have to solve for counter flow. Conditions are same that is THI equals to what 160 and your TCI is also equals to what 70. And we have to estimate what is the value of THO and what is the value of TCO. So this one is counter and this one is parallel. Assume that the flow rates of both the fluids U0 will remain constant and even you are using the same heat exchanger so area is also constant. Is okay? So M dot is constant there is no change in M dot, no change in CP, no change in U0, no change in area also. So it will because of this one will the value of NTU which is defined as C minimum which is defined as A0 by C minimum will it change or will not change? It will remain same. Why remain same? Because A0 for both, U0 for both, mass flow rate will remain same. So NTU for parallel is it same as NTU for counter. So can we able to calculate NTU from this? that you have to check first. So this one is which heat exchanger is a counter flow. Can we calculate CR? 
can we calculate CR? Yes, we can. We have a same equation. Q equals to what? CH into THI minus THO. CH value equals to what? We don't know. But do you know THI is 160 minus THO equal to what? 90. So is this term is 70 times TCH. Secondly, we have Q equals to what? CC which is equals to what? TCO minus TCI. We don't know CC but you know TCO is 70 and this one is 35. So this one is 35 times of CC. If you take a ratio of 1 and 2, your Q will be cancelled. 70 times CH equal to 35 times CC. So we can very well say that 2 times of CH is equal to C. It means that the CC is more quantity as compared to CH. So we claim that C max is equal to CC. C minimum equals to CH and can we say CR equal to C minimum by C max is equal to 1 by 2 is equal to 0.5. That's so right. Effectiveness for parallel flow is 1 minus e to the So we have to first calculate what is effectiveness. So effectiveness equals to what? CH into THI minus THO upon C minimum into HI minus TCI. So we don't know CH. What is C? Is CH is same as C minimum? So that term is cancelled. So THI we have 160 minus 90 upon 160 minus 35. So you are getting effectiveness equals to. So effectiveness come out to be 0.56. Now we will go to this equals to what? 0.56. And find out NTU from this. Now this value of NTU. Is common to both heat exchanger. And value of CR is common to both heat exchanger. <laughs> And even the ratio is also same because we are not change the mass flow rate that is CC equal to what 2 times of CH. To find out effectiveness of counter flow we will use the equation of effectiveness for counter flow is 1. Substitute for NTU equals to 1.22 CR equal to 0.5 and obtain the effectiveness for counter flow. So we obtain effectiveness equals to 0.627. Once we obtain effectiveness equal to 0 0.627, our two equations or effectiveness are ready. One is CH into THI minus THO upon C minimum into THI minus TCI. So we have a effectiveness of 0 0.627. Is value of C minimum? So this is cancelled. So we get THI that equals to THI is 160. We don't have any idea about THO divided by 160 minus 35. So we obtain the value of THO equals to 81.75. Effectiveness is also equals to CC. So this one is 0 0.627. We can put CC equals to 2 times of CH. C minimum itself equals to CH. TCO, we have no idea about TCO. TCI is 35. THI is 160 
and TCI is 35. So from this CH will cancel 10 TCO. So outlet temperature for cold fluid is 74.19 and it must be always greater than the parallel flow because the counter flow is more effective as compared to parallel flow. Finally you have to find out what is the minimum temperature to which oil could be cooled in parallel and counter flow. For this we will draw the for parallel flow your start will be at 160 and it cooled down to what 90 whereas in a parallel flow our water enters at what 35 and leaves at what 70. So can we cool this oil to minimum value equal to what 70 agree so minimum value of oil that is ideal situation is 70 degrees celsius whereas for counter flow your thi is 160 tho come out to be 81.75 in this case the TCO will be like this so this is direction is opposite TCI is present at this point is what 35 and the TCO equals to 74.19 so ideally we can cool <coughs> this oil to minimum temperature of what 35 so team oil minimum temperature in case of counter flow is 35 degree celsius so for next question so a counter flow heat exchanger 0.5 per second of oil from 115 to 40 degree celsius by the use of water the inlet and outlet temperature of water are 45 and 75 the temperature of oil is more as compared to what water so oil is hot fluid 115 40 degree celsius at 15 degree celsius use at 75 degree celsius 1450 you want to calculate mass flow rate of cold fluid effectiveness of the heat exchanger and surface area required the specific heat of the oil is given to you and we are taking the oil equals to what hot fluid so we know cph is 2450 and specific heat of cold fluid is water is standard value is 4200 this data is given for what this one is 0 0.55 0 0.55 kg per second so we have first equation is q equals to m dot h phi phi cph is 2450 thi is 115 tho is 40 so you can find out the value of q m dot c cpc tco 1062 0.5 m dot c we don't know cpc we have assumed 4200 tco is 75 tci is 15 so from this we can calculate mass flow rate of cold fluid which will be equals to 0 0.4023 is kg per second m dot h into cph is 0.55 multiplied by 2450 is 1347 m dot c cpc is 0.4023 into 4200 is 1684 So from these two value 1347 and 1684 
we can conclude C minimum is same as CH is 1, 3, 4, 7 and C max is same as CH or CC. Now this is the correction here, there is a CC. So C max equal to CC is equals to 1684. So can we find out CR? CR is always C minimum by C max. So CR is 1347.5 divided by 1684. CR come out to be 0.8. So effectiveness is given by CH, CH, so that is cancelled. THI is 115. THO is 40 degrees Celsius. C THI is 115 and TCI is 15. Finally, we will go for effectiveness relation and NTU relation. So, we have effectiveness counter flow is 1 mild to 0.75, CR equals to 0.8 and solve this equation so that we can obtain NTU. That answer will be 2.35 approximate answer. Now we know NTU equals to we have to find out value of A0. Value of U0 is known to us is 1450. That is 1450 is this value. Divided by C minimum. C minimum is 1347. Point on this we get area equals to 2.184.